is it worth it for cadavers to be used in medical education these days? I'm Dr. Wolf, and I'm a forensic pathologist, so uh, let's talk about it. I think as we've progressed as a society in terms of technological innovation, there's this idea that we should be uh, doing more things digitally and less things physically. However, I think learning anatomy is not one of those things. A medical student dissecting a cadaver and learning anatomy is one of the most important rites of passage in the history of medicine. And uh, I personally uh, learned an immense amount about anatomy from that experience. And I still call back to that cadaver in my mind these days, every week when I work and I read a radiology report or I'm doing my own work as an autopsy pathologist, I still think of that cadaver and I think of, of the anatomical structures that I spent nine months dissecting out. The counter argument to this is unless you are a surgeon or unless you are a pathologist, uh, you are not going to see physical anatomy, internal anatomy in the flesh very much and that uh, it can all be learned digitally. Well, yes, anything can be learned digitally, but can it be learned well? Can it be learned enough to be an excellent physician? Uh, given that many medical schools are now moving to this, I don't want to say that it's not a good way to learn because then I would just be telling an entire generation of doc doctors that um, you're not learning it correctly. I just think that all doctors should be on the same level, the same base level of understanding of anatomy, and I feel that the only way to get there is through dissection. So speaking specifically, anybody can look, a, look at a book or look at an iPad screen and identify the named structures of the body. But it's the dissection, it's the going in and looking at everything in three-dimensional space, seeing how those things are related, that is so important to anatomy. Even if you're not a surgeon and you're a, a doctor who's just reading a radiology report for your patient, it's good to be able to think about how those things are arranged spatially. Also, cadaver dissection is an exercise in patience. Um, I did it 25 years ago, and we had to dissect out every single little nerve from every muscle, every tendon, every single named uh, blood vessel. And you have to be very careful. You have to just pick away at it. And it's, um, it's a way for you to appreciate, really, the integrity of those tissues, but also the connective tissue in between those tissues, which I think is very important. These aren't named structures. You know, uh, you, you hear about fascia, you hear about interstitium, and you hear about, you know, just adipose tissue that kind of holds everything together. They're supporting structures. But it's important to know how much of it's there if you are doing a procedure bl blindly, like putting in a subclavian line. Then you have examples like uh, appreciating the difference between a vein and an artery. Okay, a vein, the, the walls of a vein, very thin, very delicate, very easy to break. The walls of an artery are usually thicker and more muscular. And so just feeling it in your hands, in between your fingers, uh, and seeing it with your own eyes, I think there's a lot of value to that, regardless of what field of medicine you go into. Now, invariably, when I breach this topic, I will get modern medical students or people who maybe graduated in the last 10 or 12 years who, who didn't do much of a cadaver dissection, and they, they sort of get defensive. There's no reason to get defensive. They, they tell me, uh, yeah, you might be better at anatomy, but I have a better bedside manner. Um, and that's beside the point, and I and don't necessarily think that that's true. You don't have to be good at one and bad at the other. Um, I just believe learning anatomy is best with a physical human body that you have to take apart yourself. Most importantly, though, to me, is that the exercise of dissection was presented to us when I was in, started medical school 25 years ago, that this is your first patient, and you should treat that patient with ut utmost respect. Uh, this is a person who gave up their entire mortal coil so that they could pass on the gift of knowledge to you. And that is a gift that I personally, to this day, I call upon. I think about that cadaver every single time I practice medicine. And I'm a big proponent of the cadaver, uh, but I realize it is falling out of favor. Uh, I just think that there are immense advantages to dissecting a cadaver versus doing it digitally.